Okay, hello. Thank you, Peter, and for the introduction and for organizing the conference and having me here. I'm talking uh, to you from Geelong, that is a coastal city, uh, 70 kilometer away from Melbourne. And currently I'm with Dickens University School of Engineering. Uh, today I'm going to give my presentation about the 4D printed soft robot and close of 4D printed soft robots. Uh, I'm going to give some brief explanation about the soft robots that are an emerging types of the robots compared to the conventional rigid robots. They are uh, lighter, safer uh, for human robot interactions and uh, they could be sometimes uh, energy efficient uh, as well. Uh, there are some differences between the 4D printing uh, soft robots and 3D printing uh, of soft robots. Uh, usually, uh, they used to make the different parts of the robots, like the links, and joints, uh, and interfactor using the functional materials, uh, like we name it like the passive materials with 3D printing. But uh, recently, there are some focus on 4D printing of soft robots where smart materials are used in fabrication of soft robots. And the difference is that the smart materials are stimuli responsive to the light, temperature, magnetic field, humidity, and so on. And the advantages of um, marrying the 4D print into soft robotic is that you can have less fabrication steps like the no joints and no assembly are required and more complex geometries uh, you could have. And more importantly, uh, you, you have mass customization of the dynamic products and it has uh, design flexibility. Uh, with introducing the 4D printed soft robots, the application uh, emerged recently, uh, mainly in the medical splints that they can provide more comfort to the patients uh, because of the adaptability they have. They could be uh, different uh, stiffness, uh, uh, they, they could have the different stiffness uh, in response to the uh, change of the temperature or even the humidity when in the medical splints or they could be used as a patient specific medical splints as a soft robot. Also, uh, one of the broad application is in drug delivery and drug release where with the combination of the different stimuli responsive materials that are printed like the capsule robots or, or that they could be deployed in the body and you, you could have the control over the time and the amount of the release of the drug. Also, they have some application in the minimally invasive uh, medical surgeries and as a closed loop uh, 4D printed soft robots and as an endpoint uh, gripper. And uh, also some application in smart stents that they are responsive to the stimuli at the different scenarios and dynamic environment, they could be contracted and expanded uh, for the desired specification. But uh, our journey in 4D printing of soft robot or soft actuator started with self-folding pattern-driven 4D printing, in which uh, we inspired from the nature for the self-folding in response to external stimuli and we used a combination of the carbon fiber and a hydrogel to make our ink as a dark color. And then we could uh, print different patterns using the different features of the 3D printing, like the number of the layers and different geometries. We used the shape memory polymer that was a pre-strained uh, shape memory polymer that was the polyestyrene. Uh, polystyrene sheet and uh, its commercial uh, name was Shrink Ding. And it has a TG or glass temperature of uh, 102 degrees Celsius. And using the bioplotter, we could print different pattern and using different geometry like the uh, height that could be from the number of layers and in order to harness uh, different bending or even the folding of our soft actuator. And the mechanism was in a way that when you uh, irradiate the uh, infrared light and on top of that uh, polyester and polyester and that is uh, part of that 4D printed using the ink in a different color, 
uh, it uh, heated up and it is uh, started folding or bending from that hinges uh, based on the different uh, features of the four different that could be geometrical base. And this was inspired. Uh, it could be a bit interesting from the different configuration of the coals in the barbecue. And it, it leads to different heats that you can uh, generate with the arrangement of the coal and you will have different tastes in your barbecue. That was a good start at the time. It was around 2016 that I started on 4D printing, but the problem with that shape memory polymer was that uh, it was not much suitable in terms of the soft robotic point of view because it was uh, not reversible. Then we were looking for the reversible 4D printing and, and materials. That, and therefore at the time we came up with the 4D print uh, chitosan as a polyelectrolyte hydrogen. Polyelectrolyte hydrogen are working in a way that after you print them and then let them dry and in, immerse them into the electrolyte solution and apply the electricity based on the osmotic pressure and Donan effect, the sooling on one side of the membrane or the 4D printed uh, polyelectrolyte they will be more than another side due to the movement of the uh, uh, cation, uh, uh, counter ion, and then you will get the bending. And also, we work on the optimization of the rheological properties of the uh, 3D printing in order to get the more uh, precise lattice that this leads to the better estimation of the motion of the 4D printed uh, polyelectrolyte. And it was uh, shown that using the 4D printing or porosity of the lattice, we could achieve more performance in terms of the bending in our soft actuator or soft robot link in the, uh, compared to the lattice search. After that, a uh, more sophisticated uh, type of the soft robots were 4D printed. Here you can see that we could print a uh, pearl soft robot that was made of the active uh, links that were those polyelectrolyte hydrogel and the passive links that were made uh, using another printer that was the FDM. So a combination of the both printer or hybrid pr printing was used for developing a more sophisticated soft power robots than uh, in order to achieve a different motion and it could be used as a cell manipulation uh, application. And later uh, we could show that using the different materials in 4D printing and topology optimization uh, it is possible to improve the performance of the actuation or motion of the soft robot in terms of the bending uh, performance. And you can see that using the just one material compared to the using the uh, combination of the two materials to active materials and topology optimization, the bending performance could achieve, uh, could be improved using the uh, topology optimization in 4D printing of soft robots. But one of the main challenging issues in uh, 4D printing of soft robots is uh, their dynamic modeling. And therefore, uh, initially we used a rigid uh, uh, element discrete model that was matched well with the uh, uh, terminology of the using voxel or, or mechanical pixel in the 3D printing or 4D printing that we could define, uh, we use the long parameter to define the different mechanical properties and even dynamic properties in our uh, soft actuator or soft robotic link in order to uh, dynamically model that one. Uh, that was uh, quite satisfactory, but later we found that for the different application, because of the uncertainties and the dynamic environment uh, where the 4D printed soft robots are uh, interacting with its uh, uh, dynamic environment and even with any arbitrary uh, 4D printing pattern, that uh, uh, rigid element uh, discrete model uh, could not be even the best approach. Therefore, we use different system item identification approach and we use the to map lab tool wise. There are lots of uh, advanced uh, system identification tools like the weighted list square, ARMA, ARMOX, and so on that we could have the satisfactory result of the experiment in considering those uncertainties. And uh, this was one of our, uh, I think one of the uh, first work that the, the idea of closed loop 4D printed soft robots emerged, where we use the camera in order to try uh, make the loop 
uh, close for the control of the soft robot or soft actuator. You can see that the end effector or end point is marked in different color and image processing uh, used uh, in order to track the end point of the soft actuator. And then the other uh, control algorithm like the PID and then some more uh, uh, advanced one like the sliding mode controller or uh, Takashi Sugano fuzzy logic controller was used in order to make the loop close for tracking the end point of that polyelectrolyte soft actuator. And uh, recently we uh, and other gr uh, groups uh, in the last one or two years uh, focus on uh, Closed loop for the painting of uh, another type of the soft robot that is the most common one is soft pneumatic actuators and they are based on the uh, air pressure or hydraulic uh, pressure input that uh, the stimulate the actuator and could be fully 3D printed and and also the different type of the sensor could be embedded on this uh, actuator in order to achieve the desired bending and also force and the end effector to grab different shapes with different weights. And this could have application in the food industry and the packaging and so on. But with more advanced in uh, 4D printing and particularly in the 4D printing of the soft sensors, uh, there could be some more application for integrating the, the 4D printed uh, soft sensors into the soft robots. And uh, they have found a broad application in medical sectors and uh, as a capacitive sensor or strain sensor. Also, we use the uh, same hydrogel uh, uh, materials, but not a composite hydrogel for even the variable sensor, but the, the interesting characteristic that we found that this self-healing uh, characteristic that we found in this uh, 3D printed self-healing uh, sensor, they could be uh, cut and then come together and healed and still work as a sensor with the accept acceptable uh, conductivity. And currently uh, with the 4D printing of the soft actuator that we initiated a few years ago and recently with the 4D printing of the soft sensor and uh, with uh, some uh, uh, exceptional characteristics like the self-healing, the idea of the closed loop 4D printing soft uh, robots uh, uh, became closer to the reality and even the uh, practical application that both of these uh, sensors and actuators that are the main parts of this uh, soft robots could be uh, 4D printed. And then with the use of the finite element methods, uh, we, are, uh, we could uh, reduce the number of the experimental tests. And then we use that data from that finite element method that is verified with the few experimental tests and using the data-driven approach like the machine learning or deep learning and we could tune the control algorithm that helped uh, with the 4D printed soft robots to interact uh, accurately with its dy uh, dynamic environment. And then the whole uh, picture is offered as a closed loop 4D printed soft robot that still the other current research are underway. And hopefully in next meetings, I can update you with those results. Yep, and these are the references I used, and thank you.